Welcome to the Recon Trader. In today's video, I will show you how to basically deposit USDT with the Apex Decentralized Exchange as they have now started offering USDT pairs for trading and primarily BTC USDT is the first one they've rolled out, but you can expect more in the future. So if you want to be able to trade USDT pairs over on the Apex Exchange, I will show you how to basically fund your Apex account. So with that being said, let's get right into the weeds. So the first thing you will need to do is connect your MetaMask wallet to the Apex Exchange. And in this case, I will be using the BNB chain for my MetaMask wallet as it offers lower fees than say the Ethereum network. And so once you have your MetaMask wallet connected to the Apex Exchange, and keep in mind, this is a decentralized exchange. So you're not technically sending money to them and trusting them as a custodian to hold on to the money. The funds you actually, I guess, deposit are locked up in a smart contract and thus Apex doesn't actually hold your money. Your money is still in your MetaMask wallet but is locked up in a smart contract. So with that all in mind, I'm ready to make my deposit. I just click on deposit. So the first thing I need to select is what type of contracts I want to trade, whether it be USDT Perpetual or USDC. Obviously, it's going to be USDT. The chain I want to deposit from is going to be the Binance chain. I can select from a couple different chains that are available. Ethereum, you're going to pay huge fees. So I would recommend BNB. Now the asset I want to select obviously is going to be USDT. And in order to make these type of deposits you will need a little bit of bnb available token in your metamask account in order to cover the small transaction fees so i have some bnb available now before i actually make the deposit i need to enable usdt as you can see, you must enable USDT the first time you deposit on Apex Pro. You will only have to do this once and you'll more than likely pay a small fee. You can see the first thing I need to do is set a spending cap. And in this case, I only want that spending cap. And in this case, I want my spending cap to actually be the amount I'm going to deposit, which will protect the rest of the funds in my MetaMask account. So now I can click next. And you can see there's a small fee of uh, three cents to go ahead and approve or enable my USDT MetaMask wallet with the Apex Exchange. All right, so now that that's been enabled, you can see I have an available balance of 1500 that I can deposit. Like I mentioned before, I will deposit 1000 USDT and I need to click confirm. There will be another authorization that will need to take place and then I will just need to confirm I want to make that deposit and again there's a small fee of like five cents so I click confirm and now you can see my available margin or equity is the 1000 USDT and so now I have funds available to trade over here on Apex Pro again they're not actually being held by a third party they're locked up in a smart contract over on MetaMask. So technically they're still in my control. That is a huge benefit of trading on an exchange like Apex Pro versus Binance, KuCoin, where you're basically trusting them to hold your money and give it back to you when you want it back. In this case, I could just go in and cancel that smart contract in MetaMask my funds would be unlocked from that smart contract and I would once again have access to them. Thus, I am in control of my own money. So, I think that pretty much wraps it up for this video. I will be doing some trading videos over here on Apex Pro, so you might want to shoot that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. If you like this video, do me a favor, spike a like. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section down below. And until next time, remember, never send your money into battle without first doing your recon. See you in the next video.